the past two years we've been working on uh, the Digital Services Act, so the EU regulation uh, that, uh, among other things, uh, is supposed to regulate platforms, especially the big platforms, the ones that are dominant on the market, uh, with an intention to, to limit uh, their powers. Um, for example, in a field of uh, shaping public debate. When it comes to regulating the internet, it's important to not get lost in the question about how to regulate information. Uh, we need to regulate the information space. But the DSA goes one step further. It also tries to regulate the most systemic problems, to some extent at least, um, that comes with it. Uh, I think it's important to recognize that social media platforms are not, they have never been meant to be great spaces of online debate. They have been built as advertising platforms um, and as such they have the incentive to first and foremost make sure people watch as much advertising as possible and create as much personal data and you know for the profiling and everything that's needed uh, for these companies and so it's these platforms work in the interest of the platforms not in the interest of public debate. I think that what happened was that there came the, this realization that regulation of this information is still in its infancy that purveyors of this information have made it quite a profitable business and also quite an influential political platform which has very detrimental effects on democracy. And the European Union, being the Union of Democratic States as it is, has attempted now to respond to this by linking all of these aspects of contributing to a healthy media environment under uh, the EDMO moniker. I think the, the main message about EDMO and the raison d'etre for, for EDMO, if you will, is uh, that we need a multi-stakeholder approach to, tackle, to first understanding and then tackling disinformation. That there's no single mechanism, no sing single instrument that can solve this problem, but, but we need a lot of different players involved. We need smart regulation, we need media literacy education, and we need proper research and empowered fact-checking. There is no one single cure, but education is certainly a big part of it. Um, but what we also need is we need to reduce the power that these biggest online platforms like Facebook and YouTube and TikTok and Instagram that they have uh, over our online debates. Um, and uh, Twitter is also certainly part of that. And I, at the moment, you know, why why is this why is the public debate happening on those platforms? Um, why don't why aren't there alternative spaces, spaces that are that allow people to have healthier debates um, that decentralize content moderation? First panel focused more on disinformation as probably the key phenomenon that even uh, Edmo projects are focusing on. The idea of the second panel was to link media to the democratic sphere and point out how vital media are to democracies of today. Fight against uh, disinformation and fight for a better and stronger media environment is waged by people, by journalists. And the first step in this fight is to protect journalists, to protect their uh, security, to protect their workers' rights, their social rights, to ensure their education. So I think that uh, it's a story about people. And also what is important is the possibility of meeting people from different environments. I mean scientists, journalists, fact checkers, uh, people who are engaged in media literacy and education. So it's very important to cooperate with different environments and also uh, it's very important to cooperate on the international level because they, this information is a global phenomenon. I think that the conference comes just at the perfect time because um, we have just uh, finished, uh, I mean the, the substantial work on the DSA has just finished. Uh, there are some formalities to be completed at the EU level still but basically we already know what politicians uh, agreed upon. So now we are moving uh, into the enforcement uh, part. And uh, enforcement is, is a tricky bit of, of the DSA uh, and probably the crucial bit. So all those rules that were set in the regulation, um, they will not be effective 
without strong enforcement. I think that the takeaway of the panel was that you really cannot have one response without having the other and that our, this so-called disinfodemic or information disorder we have uh, been living with for the last couple of years is really the result of a multitude of political, economic and social forces and that each can be addressed with committing to the right goals and choosing tools to do so. Perhaps projects like these are a good entry point.